Man, season two, episode one and two. So let's get this thing started. Let's talk about this actually big fucking premiere because this was actually pretty good, right? Now, we're not going to spoil too much. We're just going to kind of talk about small tidbits. And then the next uh, episode, next week, I'll be talking more on the spoil that's just begin with, right? So let's talk about The Expanse season one very quickly. Expanse season one was the type of show that I feel like it didn't really try to hold your hand. Now, I'm not saying this thing was like Shakespeare and it wasn't like overly smart per se, but it didn't really try to be overly dumb to like appeal to certain people. It didn't try to like do exposition and didn't really try to like explain things very thoroughly uh, for the most part. Now, it was also a mystery show, obviously, which I actually really quite enjoyed. But at the same time, it was the type of show that tried to pick its moves very wisely. It was like a game of chess. You know, once you pick, you take your time and you actually pick your moves, then that's when the big stuff starts to happen and you start to get results. Um, and I feel like that's what The Expanse was. It was the type of show that was a slow burner, but it allowed characters kind of get fleshed out and go and let the story go at a natural progression. And then we kind of got a big payoff for the most part. Uh, but even that said, I really did enjoy the first season. I felt like The Expanse was never a, sh a show that I was just like, I got to see The Expanse. It was the type of show that I'd be like, if I miss one week, then I'm kind of not really that interested almost. Uh, and that's kind of like the thing. But overall, I still managed to come back. And now we have season two going on just to begin with. Now, this, does things kind of get, uh, you know, improved? Does things get, you know, uh, you know, downgraded, whatever it may be? Here's the thing about this premiere. I thought this was actually a pretty great premiere. Uh, there were some things that really stuck out to me and then some things that were very interesting. But for the most part, this was actually a pretty improved uh, season two premiere, just to begin with. Now, a couple other things, as I said before, uh, what kind of improved was that season one was pretty much more of the, you know, the mystery thing. This season seemed like it's going more for the, the tension, suspense type of like action thing. Which is good, because uh, obviously we know these characters now, so now we can kind of do other things with them. But hopefully it doesn't kind of sacrifice the characters just to begin with, or the quality of the show. And judging from these two episodes, I don't think it actually will, uh, just to begin with. Now, we kind of kicked this shit off with pretty much right on Mars. Now, we kind of talked about Mars in the previous season, but now we're actually on Mars. We actually get to see some space marines. I actually really did like the armor, even though it slightly looked at cheap. And even though the opening scene just kicks up, boom, you know, you just get like a big old, you know, action sequence or whatever it may be. I think that was actually quite good and looked like it was something right out of like Red Planet or even like Mass Effect. Now, to me, I actually really enjoyed the Draper character, which is obviously, you know, the, the Samoan <coughs> uh, Space Marine, which I thought she was great. And I would have preferred to see even more of her uh, in this episode because I thought she, they had actually had some of the most interesting parts of this uh, premiere. Uh, but I can understand why she'd probably have more time to get fleshed out or whatever it may be. But I honestly, she impressed me so much that I actually would not mind seeing like a Space Marine of, you know, a uh, spinoff just to begin with. Because obviously they're trying to, you know, figure out the, the war between Earth and Mars or whatever it may be. And that's pretty much what's happening just to begin with, with their side of the story. But obviously like most of the stories in The Expanse, they tend to be interwoven just in some sort of way. But I thought the, the Space Marine thing was actually quite good just to begin with. Now, a couple other things we got to learn is uh, pretty much about Miller. Let's talk about Miller real quick. Miller's light. Um, uh, let's talk about Miller. One, he's kind of losing mind on top of his hair, but also he's just kind of uh, just losing his mind. Now, we kind of figure out that once he's talking to Naomi, he doesn't actually really know Julie Mai or Mai or whatever it may be. Um, he just kind of saw her when she was dead, and then he kind of became obsessed with her, and now he's kind of seeing her just like walking around inside of his head. Uh, and that's great, you know, and I talk about the tension, him and Amos kind of have this big old fight, and I thought that was a pretty good fight, um, if you want to call it a fight, I guess, because he pretty much just knocked Miller on his ass, uh, and that was pretty much it. Now, overall, a couple other things that we did get to see, just to begin with, was uh, the fact that Naomi and Holden actually did get it on. They, they finally have succumbed to their inner desires, and now they are finally to, you know, actually, well, not together, but they actually just, they'll bang. Uh, you know, that's pretty much it. They had sex. Now, the thing I liked about The Expanse was that they didn't really make this a, a big roadblock for the story. They allowed this shit to kind of just happen naturally, and then it happened. It did not not affect the story, um, nor did it kind of, like, be a big, like, you know, clusterfuck of the thing that'd be like, oh, this is like some CW type of romance just fucking up the story. No, it happened. They were adults about it. I just hope it doesn't become a love triangle, even though they kind of hinted at it. A little bit, uh, and I hope it doesn't really kind of become a bit of a problem because you know I feel like the expanse doesn't need that shit uh, just to begin with. Now, a couple other things that we really did uh, get to see was that the government stuff. Now, I thought the government stuff was actually quite improved, uh, and this episode just begin with compared to last season. I thought last season was just kind of okay, uh, and I really didn't like it that much. But in this season, I thought it was actually. 
pretty good. Now, this is a corrupt government. It's kind of a fucked up government. Uh, so fucked up that it actually kind of makes real life look kind of peaceful uh, in some way. But, uh, you know, uh, Aver Sarli, I believe her name is, the you know, the UN deputy, whatever. She apparently is on some type of hit list, which for some reason, whatever it may be, maybe somebody knows that she's bullshitting because she's trying to work her way with Fred Johnson and find a spy to, like, get her uh, in contact with Johnson because she uh, obviously realizes that he's actually innocent inside of these, you know, accusations for him, just to begin with. Now, uh, a couple other things that we really get to see was that we finally got a little bit of information when it comes to the virus, just to begin with. Now, overall, the virus itself has a name, finally, which is pretty much a proto-molecule. And uh, not only that, but we actually get to learn that it might be the first sign of extraterrestrial life, which should be interesting if we actually did get to see um, some sort of uh, alien on the show. Because I feel like The Expanse is a show that's like teasing something like that, but it's not going that far into it. But I doubt we ever will. Uh, but we did kind of see a little bit of a tease with like the upcoming stuff in the season just to begin with. Um, but overall, like I said, there's a couple other things that uh, really does kind of happen. It's just simply put... Um, I, what I really did enjoy about this episode was that there was really no clear sign of a good guy or bad guy. It was a great area, and I did really like that. I feel like that's what might be the more focus points just to begin with. Even Miller kills the scientist at the very end. Uh, that should be interesting to see what happens going on next. Uh, but overall, like I said, I feel like this premiere was actually quite good, and they improved on a lot of things uh, just to begin with. But I didn't want to spoil too much in case people haven't actually seen it. But next week... Uh, there will be spoilers, and we'll just review it just straight up. Um, but overall, like I said, a very good episode that improved on a lot of things. And if you haven't seen last season, then I, I don't think you necessarily need to because they give you a recap. But I would definitely recommend you probably do. But that's just my thought, and that's just my opinion. Comment, subscribe, and like. I'm Chris Smith, and I'm signing out.